So today this video will going to be a little bit different yeah, Because today I will going to show you guys how I am do the sound design in Zing FS And today we are focusing on lead and the pad sound first Since most of you guys that keep asking me for doing this Keep asking me like, hey Anthony Can you review, show you the secret of how you actually made the strom and rich lead and pad sound in LMMS. Well, let's do this guys. So now we got the file at here. I already designed the sound at here. Just want to let you guys listen first before we jump into the sound design thing. Yeah, check this out. Alright, great. So just want to let you guys know first, I didn't do any frequency, no effects, no EQ, no mixing and mastering at here. It's like pure sound design made in Zingat Sub FX, the pad sound and the lead sound. And it's just like that. And it's already sounds for me it's already sounds quite decent. <laughs> Right, so this here's the sound that I made by using the Zing and FS, the lead and the pad sound. Oh, by the way, just want to let you guys know first, this is a disclaimer. I'm not the good producer, I'm not the very professional producer. Yeah, I'm still learning, I am still want to try my best to get better of doing the sound design, all the music production, everything. Yeah, so, okay, that's it. Let's jump into the Zing at Sub FS sound design. So now let's make the pad sound first. Okay, so let me. So here's the sound, just like this. It's the sine wave sound. Okay, now let's go into it. I will not going to explain too much like what is this note, what is that note. You just follow the instruction, you just follow what I'm doing at here right now. Go to the exit. And now go to the voice parameter. Do the change right here. Power. One, I want to make the white noise just like this. The last one, okay, just remain like this. Now we go to the effect here, getting a little bit sound. Go here, inception, inception effect. So that's it. This is how you made the pad sound. So listen to this. So just want to let you guys know every time when I do the sound design, it's not every time I'm do that exactly the same like the before that you listen to this. Yeah, like this one is totally different things, but the whole concept is just like this. All right. 
All right, very good. Now let's go to make the lead sound. So lead sound actually is still the same concept like the making the sound design for the pad sound. So let's go to the project again. Let's go to the GUI. Change power. So the only difference is I'm going to twist this just a little bit. Alright. And after that. I think I will put in the put to 50 and the sound that's one triangle I guess I just leave it like this and now let's do the frequency again. Insertion effect the revert chorus distortion. So that's it. This is how you make the lead sound in Zinger Side FS. So that you guys have a quick listen again. Now let's listen to both and after that do the side chain and this is how it sounds like right now. So this is how you make the pet sound and the lead sound by using the Zinget Sub FS. I hope you guys learned something from this video. It's just a very short video, right? So yeah, that's basically how I actually made the lead sound and the pad sound. And of course, sometimes I will not going to use the same concept. Sometimes I will still like to explore, use other wave sound to make the lead sound like this. So yeah, it's all about the creativity and everything. So hope you guys learn this technique and after that apply on your own creativity and make even better lead and pad sound. And yeah, I will see you in the next video. And if you guys like today's video, help me share and subscribe my YouTube channel. And don't forget to follow my Instagram.